let's take a look at a company called Fast Brick Robotics. In this video, we're going to look at how their technology works, what it can do, and even how you can invest. As always on this channel, the heart of their technology is implementing automation in construction. The concept is basically a boom or a long arm that's able to move the blocks from one place to their final resting place on the build. This is a very early model from when they were just testing the concept. Since then, they have made a lot of progress developing and improving this technology. The blocks are loaded on one pallet at a time, and then the machine is able to grab it from the pallet and basically put it on an assembly line. Anyone who's operated a large boon in the past will know that there's a lot of sway at the end of the device. We'll take a look at how they mitigate that in a minute. To program the robot, they use computer-aided design. This has many benefits similar to those you see in 3D printed concrete. The program determines the position of each brick and in some of the newer models there are even varying brick sizes. Best of all, what you see is what you get because a machine does not make the same mistakes that humans are prone to. After finishers come in, you can pretty much make the house look like whatever you want to. It would be difficult for somebody passing by to even determine that this house was built with automation. So how can the technology we saw before build an entire house? Here's an early rendering of how they thought it may look. You can see it's almost like a crane, but instead of a typical telescoping boom, this one has an assembly line that grabs bricks from the inserted pallet and places them so that once it reaches the end of the boom, it'll be the right brick for the job. Here you can see their initial concept of where the adhesive would be sprayed on each brick. The adhesive is sprayed on right before the final grabber places the brick on the wall. As we mentioned before, keeping this still is a big challenge. This is achieved with a laser targeting system. By using lasers to communicate its exact location within the parameters of the build, the machine is able to subtly adjust its exact location so that it can be accurate to a fraction of a centimeter. This level of accuracy is what makes this technology so competitive. Now that we've thoroughly examined the renderings, let's take a look at the real deal. Here's the first home build by Hadrian X. You can see for this one they're building inside a facility. When it comes to robotics, inside is always preferable because it's more predictable and controllable Outside, the robotics are exposed to the elements where all kinds of new issues can arise. You can see their boom is in two main units, one attached to the vehicle and the second is telescopic to be able to adjust its length. At the end of the telescopic section of the boom, there's the piece communicating with the lasers so that it can subtly adjust for any sway. Here's what the finished project would look like if it were built outside. Compared to their first rendering, you can see they've decided to make the machine attached to a vehicle as opposed to a typical cab. Now let's take the building outside. As you can see, the blocks are loaded on with just a regular pallet. In the future, even the forklift could be automated. If you look closely, you can see the adhesive dripping off the side. You can see it's spraying the adhesive in a pretty fluid motion and able to build the entire first layer very quickly and extremely accurately. 
you quickly come to understand that this machine can lay far more bricks than a person can in a day. A typical mason might only lay 358 inch bricks or up to 120 12 inch bricks in a day. You can tell that despite some wind, the machine is able to get each block exactly in its position on top of the last layer. Many people want to just walk in, push a button, and have an entire home built ready for moving, but that's simply not the case. Even this advanced technology still requires people to do some of the finishing touches and even the entire roof. More recently, they've completed the first two-story building with this technology. This gives major advantages because you don't require scaffolding for the second level of blocks. The technology is so new that even fast brick robotics themselves is still experimenting with the capabilities of their machine. They have ambitious plans to scale up and increase the number of machines drastically. They've also made a number of strategic partnerships to help make their dreams a reality. The machine does most of the work until all of the bricks are laid. After that, people come in and do some structural supports with rebar and regular concrete they're able to meet existing permitting standards which will make the process a lot simpler. It's easy to start thinking of all the possibilities this tech has to offer when looking at this cool project. Unlike most of the other companies pioneering automated construction, this company is publicly traded. If you trade with a brokerage account that allows you to trade Australian stocks, then you can look up FBRKF in the OTC markets. It's a small cap company so the prices can be fairly volatile. It currently trades for a little over three cents per share but if you look at the five-year chart you can see it used to trade for 25 cents a share. This channel is about automated construction not the stock market so let's not get too far into that. Before you invest in anything you should always do your own research and due diligence especially if you're just hearing about it from someone on YouTube. I simply thought it would be a unique thing to point out, seeing as many people in the comments have asked how to invest in this kind of technology, and most of the other companies competing in the automated construction space are still in early rounds of funding that are only accessible to private investors. Now let's take a look at Hadrian X's latest form. You can see they have their own forklift now. They've also updated the way the adhesive is applied to each block. Instead of twisting it like before, the adhesive is sprayed on at the same time the block is grabbed by the arm that will place it. Here you can see them beginning progress on their first commercial project. Cinder blocks are very common in commercial real estate, and so it only makes sense that fast brick robotics would seek to disrupt this section of the industry as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also go take a look at Fastbrick Robotics channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below.